Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. Rooftop dining may soon be coming to Edina. The City Council approved an ordinance allowing restaurants to offer rooftop dining with some restrictions in commercial districts. The decision overturns a ban in place since 2011 when the issue last went before City Council. A request from Lifetime Fitness to include rooftop dining in its three-story Premier Club being built at Southdale Center prompted the policy review. The conditions include limiting rooftop dining to between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m., ensuring lighting doesn't disturb area residents or businesses, and noise generated from rooftop dining cannot violate the city's existing noise ordinance. One of the reasons this came before the city council is that we do have somebody stepping forth to say they want to do this, they want to try the rooftop dining, and they feel that it's important for them to be competitive in the space. So, um, yeah, this will keep us vibrant and attract, hopefully, other hospitality entities to come to Edina. Each business seeking rooftop dining will need to go before the Planning Commission and City Council for official approval. Lifetime expects to open its 120,000 square foot club in spring 2019. It would need to get approved for rooftop dining before then. The building plans also call for an outdoor swimming pool and deck on the roof. Although last year's quality of life survey showed a majority of respondents find the taste of Edina's drinking water either excellent or good, there is room for improvement. A new water treatment plant would reduce iron and manganese, remove sediment, and improve the city's water taste and clarity. The city is considering constructing water treatment plant number five to be built in front of the city's water tower on the northeast corner of France Avenue and West 69th Street. The City Council has approved site plans and a variance reducing building setbacks along France Avenue. By building this water treatment plant, we're going to be able to provide that filtered water source that we're able to provide almost citywide, uh, even during some of our most uh, highest use days. Council members were supportive of the plan's location and function based on the preliminary design from September 2017. Other proposed sites would have cost millions more and required expanding existing water infrastructure. Council members were also impressed with the preliminary design's emphasis on teaching residents about city services with an interactive screen explaining how the plant functions. We want to make sure that it's something that can engage people on a pedestrian scale and it gives them something to see and learn. Uh, we have a lot of different practices that we're demonstrating on the site, uh, sustainability, uh, the stormwater components, uh, and just the function of the plant itself. Council members asked city staff and architects to continue working on the building's design to make it more iconic. Staff hope to bring revised renderings back to the city council for review in about a month. Construction is anticipated to begin this year. The work of Edina art instructor Louise Gillis will be featured in the Margaret Foss Gallery later this month. Edina TV's Dawn Wills tells us more about this area artist and her moments in everyday life. For instance, this is an oil. Louise Gillis is skilled at capturing moments in everyday life. Well, I have good sound training. I have classical training, so it enables me to use uh, charcoal, pencil, watercolor, oil, pastel. I apply the same rules to everything that I work on and I enjoy working in all different kinds of mediums. Edina Arts Center's Michael Fry has praises for the way Gillis uses those mediums. Her work is really exciting. It's really fresh and new. Um, she always works in that realistic style, but Louise is a master craftsperson that she really focuses on the detail and the life of the pose or the gesture, the, the attitude of the individual that she might be painting. And over the years, it helps steady the hand. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Gillis has shared her craftsmanship with art students. I started teaching here right when I got out of art school. I got a job here teaching watercolor and I have remained here. I, I enjoy teaching here. I have wonderful students. They do wonderful artwork. And I've been teaching here for 30 years. I'm shocked when I think about that. But I have been here for 30 years. 
And it's Gillis's years of wisdom and passion that have the students coming back for more. Louise is a wonderful teacher. <laughs> and I met Louise taking one of her workshops. And I've always enjoyed her teaching. And she's taught me so much because she works in all, the, all mediums. So she's, she's an excellent teacher. I've been coming here for three years and some people have been coming here for 35 years attending this class. And the people are so nice, uh, Louise is so nice that um, it's easy to come back and really enjoy it. Fry is excited to feature a longtime instructor's artwork this month at the Edina Arts Center. So we are really excited to have Louise with us for this show, Moments in Everyday Life. Louise is a master craftsperson, so it'll be exciting to see the technical skills of her work. And her journey has now brought her to this one-woman art show. I'm so pleased and excited about having a show here yeah, to show uh, all my students, my former students, my friends, my colleagues, uh, to see the artwork that I've been working on the past couple of years. From Edina Art Center, Dawn Wells, Edina TV. Down to her, very subtle. An opening reception for Gillis' show will be held 5 to 8 p.m. Thursday, March 15th. The Moments in Everyday Life art show will run through April 18th. The exhibit is free and open to the public. Thank you for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.